Coming up with a fishing forecast after uh, after uh, your full weather, but it yes. doesn't look like fishing is going to be in the cards this week. No, I can already yeah. tell you a little glimpse of it. Probably not the best time to go fishing today. Probably not even tomorrow. We'll get into that. Taking a lot of look now in Perry. Bukarama is going on. Temperature is 73 degrees. Got a few clouds out there. This is kind of a snapshot of what today is going to be like. Temperatures aren't going to warm up too much thanks to all the clouds. Let's talk about all the rain we saw over the past 24 hours. We're seeing some red and yellow here on the screen. That means anywhere between two and four inches of rain just over the past 24 hours. So around eight o'clock yesterday morning to eight o'clock now, that's all the rain we've gotten. That encompasses much of central Georgia because of all this rain that we got, especially overnight last night. Look at just huge batch of storms just moving northeast where we are under a flash flood warning that includes Bibb County, Houston, Twiggs, Wilkinson, and that was up until eight o'clock this morning. So it should expire soon. That's all due to the rain we saw last night and the rains that we are getting headed towards that area because once that rain, you know, kind of settles into the soil like overnight last night, the new rain that we are going to get doesn't have any room to really get up in there. So it'll all just kind of float on the top, which could be potentially dangerous out there. But here's the big picture of everything that's going on. We've got high pressure to our north and we have this stationary front that's kind of been laggering over us kind of north, south, north, south and just really what's been generating all that cloud cover and all the storms we've been seeing really over the past few days and that's going to continue over the next as we enter the work week as well. Now some of these models are aren't really agreeing with each other unfortunately but they all agree that today and especially tomorrow are going to be some pretty rainy days as we head into the early morning hours we have some isolated storms still popping up it looks like they're not going to be strong but still some light rain expected this morning as we move into two o'clock got a few dots so we are going to see some breaks in the rain today thankfully hopefully give us a chance to see those temperatures slowly rise up but we're still seeing some isolated storms moving in even at around five o'clock today again not too much severe just yet but but as we move into 10 o'clock, another break overnight tonight that we get like a big batch of widespread storms again moving through the area. So it could be a similar situation like what we saw last night as more models or other models, should I say, are suggesting more of a severe threat compared to this one. But I believe I trust this one the most at the moment as we move into Monday morning. Similar situation storms just about all day isolated in nature, hit or miss. Not everybody could see showers, but the possibility is there and a lot of the other models show more of a severe threat. Current temperatures across the board currently in the mid 70s, 73 in Macon, 72 in Wrightsville, 74 in Vidalia and dew point temperatures also in the 70s, meaning it's going to be really sticky and just heavy and muggy out there. As we head towards afternoon, thanks to all that cloud cover, we're not going to see those temperatures reach the 90s currently. We'll get up to about 84 degrees, so not going to be as hot as yesterday, but the rain is still there. Today we'll get up to 88 degrees, lingering showers, the average high for this time of year or at least for today is 92 degrees. So we're going to continue to be a below, below average like we have been over the past couple of days. The night we're dropping to 72 overall a warm night ahead. Now we had a potential tropical cyclone four that I was kind of watching yesterday. It's now made landfall before it turned into a tropical storm. So not too much of a threat to Texas and Mexico, but they're kind of eyeing it out watching it. Not too much of a problem, especially for central Georgia anyways. But we are also watching a tropical wave that's going to head off the western coast of Africa. 20% chance of development over the next five days and that could be our next name storm. Here's our seven day forecast temperature highs in the mid 80s as we enter the work week with high rain chances this week. But first, let's look at Suzanne's fishing forecast. So like I said before, high rain chances just about all week this week, unfortunately, as we start the work week. So I don't recommend any fishing. What about you, Suzanne? Well, you got tomorrow from nine to 11. I might try and hit that hole right there and see what or maybe Tuesday. I don't know. I'm going to try and squeeze it in in some way, shape or form, maybe a new fishing picture for yeah, next there week. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's show off your big old